Have you ever thought about what secrets are hiding behind Sofia Vergara's glamorous life? She is a famous Latina-American actress, well known for her amazing role as Gloria Delgado Pritchett in Modern Family. Sofia shines with beauty, confidence, and style. She has been nominated for many awards and is one of the highest paid actresses on TV. Even at 51 years old, she still mesmerizes audiences all around the world. Sofia enjoys the best things in life, like fancy clothes and luxurious living. But behind all the sparkle and glam, there's much more to her story. Recently, Sofia opened up about a secret that many people have been curious about for a long time. Before we dive into her exciting confessions, let's take a look at her early life and see how she became a star in the American entertainment world. Sofia Vergara was born on July 10, 1972, in a city called Barranquilla, Colombia. She grew up in a big Roman Catholic family with five siblings and lots of cousins. Her father, Julio worked as a cattle rancher, while her mother, Margarita, stayed home to take care of the family. Sofia's family loved her so much that they gave her the nickname Toti as a child. Sofia went to a special school where she learned both Spanish and English. She was very smart and even studied dentistry for three years at the National University of Colombia. But one day, while she was on the beach, a photographer spotted her and encouraged her to try modeling. This led her to leave school just before finishing and start a new journey in show business. Sofia's first big break came when she appeared in a Pepsi commercial for Latin America. She also worked as a model and starred in the popular Mexican telenovela. However, life took a sad turn in 1998 when her older brother, Rafael, was tragically murdered in Colombia during a kidnapping attempt. This horrible event made Sofia and her family decide to move to the United States to be safe. They settled in Miami, Florida. Sofia's cousin and adopted sister, Sandra, who is also an actress, joined them in America. You might be wondering if Sofia's career continued to grow after such a big change. Keep watching to find out what happened next. Sofia Vergara Sofia's rise to fame started in the late 1990s. She became well known for hosting a fun travel show called Fura de Siri. This show was on the Spanish language television network Univision. After that, she hosted another variety show called A K No Tia Trevs. People loved her energy and personality on these shows, which helped her gain a lot of fans. In 2002, Sofia made her movie debut in a film called Big Trouble. She acted alongside famous stars like Tim Allen and Rene Russo. Then, in 2003, she played one of three girlfriends in the movie Chasing Papii. These early roles helped Sofia get noticed in Hollywood. By the end of the 2000s, she starred in two films by Tyler Perry Meet the Browns in 2008 and Medea Goes to Jail in 2009. Sofia also made her Broadway debut in the famous musical Chicago, where she played a character named Mama Morton. This was a big step in her career. But Sofia's biggest break came in 2009 when she joined the cast of Modern Family. She played Gloria Delgado Pritchett, who is a much younger wife to a man with two kids a daughter and a gay son. Gloria also had a young son from a previous marriage. The show was all about their funny and loving family. People loved the adventures of this unusual family, and the sitcom became a huge success. Modern Family won five Emmy Awards for Outstanding Comedy Series during its run. It kept audiences laughing for 11 seasons before finishing in 2020. While working on Modern Family, Sofia also starred in other popular movies. In 2011, she appeared in New Year's Eve, a film with a big star cast. Then, in 2012, she was in the Three Stooges, a comedy that brought back the classic characters. She also starred in Machete Kills 2013, Fading Gigolo 2013, and Chef 2014. In 2015, she teamed up with actress Reese Witherspoon in the buddy comedy Hot Pursuit. They had a lot of fun together. Sophia continued to show her talents in different kinds of films. She co-starred in the crime thriller Bent in 2018 and the baseball drama Bottom of the Ninth in 2019, but she didn't stop there. Sophia also lent her voice to animated films. She was in The Smurfs and did voice work for Happy Feet 2 2011, Escape from Planet Earth 2013, and the Emoji Movie 2017. Her voice brought life to many colorful characters. In early 2020, Sophia joined the judging panel of America's Got Talent, a popular talent show. Even though the production was delayed because of the coronavirus outbreak, she started her role in the show's 15th season. Sophia's fun and lively personality made her a favorite among the audience and contestants. She continued to be a judge on the show in the following seasons, showcasing her love for talent and entertainment. In 2020, in 2024, Sophia took on a new challenge by starring in a crime series called Griselda. In this miniseries, she played the role of Griselda Blanco, a famous cocaine trafficker. This was a big change from her previous roles, showing everyone that Sophia could do it all. Sophia's vibrant personality, infectious laughter, and down-to-earth nature have made her loved by fans of all ages. Her journey from a young girl in Colombia to a famous actress in Hollywood is truly inspiring. Sophia Vergara's love life has had its ups and downs. It all started with her child sweetheart, Joe Gonzalez. They got married and welcomed their son, Manolo, in 1992. Sadly, their marriage only lasted a year before they divorced. In July 2012, Sophia found love again when she got engaged to Nick Loeb, 
who co-owned a film production company. While their relationship seemed exciting at first, they broke up in May 2014. However, Summer had something special in store for Sofia. She met Joe Manganiello, a well-known actor famous for his roles in True Blood and Magic Mike. Their connection was instant, and after just six months of dating, they announced their engagement in December 2014. On November 22, 2015, Sophia and Joe had a beautiful wedding in Palm Beach, Florida. It was a grand celebration filled with love and joy. For their first anniversary, Joe wrote a special book for Sophia that told the story of their love. In 2017, he shared, I love my wife a lot in an interview, showing how much he cared for her. Sophia and Joe were happily married for nearly seven years, but in July 2023, they announced their separation. By February 2024, they were officially divorced. The reason for their split was a tough decision. Joe wanted to have children, but Sophia, who already already had an adult son, was looking forward to becoming a grandmother and didn't want more kids. Even with the media buzzing about their breakup, Sophia handled it with grace and strength. She understood that being famous meant people would have opinions and stories about her life. Reflecting on her experiences with love, she said relationships can be tricky. She emphasized the importance of giving your best and being there for each other especially during tough times. As for her future romantic interests, Sophia has some ideas in mind. She hopes to find someone who is healthy, stable financially, and knows how to have fun. Ideally, she would like someone around her age, between 48 and 52, who already has kids. However, she isn't too picky and doesn't feel like she needs a partner to be a doctor or an astronaut. The most important thing for her is finding someone who understands her and shares similar experiences. At 52, Sophia is ready to embrace whatever life has in store for her next. Whether it's in her career or in love, she remains hopeful and excited for what's ahead. Sophia Vergara is a famous actress known for her role in the TV show Modern Family. She has had a life filled with both exciting moments and challenging struggles. One of the most notable parts of her life happened between 2015 and 2017 when she faced a big legal battle about two embryos. An embryo is a tiny baby that starts growing before it is born. Let's dive into Sophia's story and learn more about her life, family, and health journey. In 2014, Sophia broke up with her fiancé, Nick Loeb. During their relationship, they created two embryos through a process called in vitro fertilization IVF. This is when doctors help a woman get pregnant by mixing an egg with sperm outside her body. After their breakup, Nick filed a lawsuit in California. He wanted to have custody of the embryos, claiming that Sophia wanted to destroy them. But Sophia strongly denied this. Her lawyer said she wanted the embryos to stay frozen forever. Nick felt that keeping the embryos frozen was wrong and compared it to killing them. Things got very complicated when the court required Nick to reveal the names of two women who had abortions after being pregnant by him. This made him decide to drop the lawsuit in California. However, the legal drama didn't end there. In December 2016, a new case started in Louisiana. This time, the lawsuit was unique because the embryos were treated as people. They were named Emma and Isabella and were represented by a lawyer named James Charbonnet. He wanted to give the embryos a chance to grow inside a surrogate, which is a woman who carries a baby for someone else. The lawsuit also tried to say that Sophia was neglecting the embryos by keeping them frozen. Louisiana has special laws that allow embryos to be treated like people since 1986. This means they can someone if needed. But in August 2017, the Louisiana judge dismissed the case, saying that he couldn't rule on embryos that were made in California. This ruling stopped the legal battles for a while. Through these tough times, Sophia showed strength and determination, navigating the complicated legal system while standing by her beliefs. Sophia's family life has not been easy either. On May 9, 2011, her younger brother, Julio, was deported back to Colombia. This happened after he was arrested earlier that year. Julio had long struggled with drug addiction and legal problems. Watching her brother suffer was very hard for Sophia. She described it as one of the worst feelings, seeing someone she loved change so much over the years. While her brother could no longer live in the United States, Sophia was making strides in her own life. In 2014, she proudly shared on Jimmy Kimmel Live that she had become a US citizen. She explained that being an immigrant was tough, but she was grateful for the chances she had found in America. This country has allowed me to raise my family, work, and make money, she said. This moment marked a significant achievement for her, showing her love for her new home. Sophia also became a mother before turning 20. She often says that motherhood is one of her greatest joys. Now, at 52 years old, she has a 32-year-old son named Manolo. They have a strong bond and share a special friendship. Sophia sometimes wishes she had been older when she had him, but she also loves how close they are. She has always focused on her family, balancing her career and personal life beautifully. 
Despite her busy acting career, Sophia makes time for family vacations and trips, creating cherished memories with her loved ones. These happy times contrast with her work life, where she travels for film shoots and television appearances. This balance shows just how dedicated she is to her family while pursuing her dreams. Sophia has a unique relationship with her health and fitness. One surprising thing about her is that she really loves going to the dentist. Most people dread their dental appointments, but Sophia looks forward to her cleanings. She even schedules them every three months instead of the usual six. Her son, Manolo, also visits the dentist regularly. Thanks to Sophia's dedication, he doesn't have any cavities, which is impressive. Sophia loves sweets, and even though she tried different ways to reduce her sugar cravings, she learned to balance her diet. While she avoids greasy foods like hamburgers and pizza, she still allows herself to enjoy her favorite treats. Fitness is important to Sophia, but she has to be careful because of her bad knees. Instead of doing intense workouts, she prefers lighter exercises and staying active in ways that feel good to her. Sophia believes that it's essential to enjoy what you do, whether it's exercising, working, or helping others. This positive attitude was especially important when she faced a significant health challenge. At age 28, Sophia was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. This was a scary time for her. She had surgery to remove her thyroid and underwent therapy to help her heal. Thankfully, she made a full recovery and takes medication to keep her thyroid levels balanced. Sophia's journey shows how committed she is to her health and happiness, whether it's through her dental habits or overcoming personal health issues. Next, Sophia takes us into her kitchen, where her Latin roots truly shine. She shares her passion for entertaining friends with lots of delicious food. Even though she admits she isn't much of a cook, she takes great pride in her stunning white onyx countertops and the amazing La Cornu stove, which was a gift from her son, who is an excellent chef. For Sophia, the kitchen is the heart of her home, where she enjoys gathering with loved ones and sharing special moments together. As we move to the family room, Sophia's colorful personality is evident in every detail. The room opens up to a lush backyard, allowing for a smooth transition between indoor and outdoor living. This is where the parties come to life. Guests gather here to watch TV, and Sophia loves to show off her collection of crystal birds. She even jokes about her new obsession with these shiny bird figurines and playfully invites her fans to send her more to add to her collection. The tour continues as Sophia proudly shares her most treasured possession, a painting by Fernando Botero, a famous artist from Colombia. Owning this painting is a dream come true for Sofia. She recalls how she first saw the artwork in a newspaper when she was young, and how happy she was when she finally acquired it for her own home. This painting holds a special place in her heart, representing her strong connection to her Colombian heritage. When we step into the garden, Sofia's face lights up with happiness. What was once a neglected area is now a vibrant extension of her home, reminding her of the beautiful landscapes in Colombia. Every plant is chosen carefully, creating a tropical paradise where Sofia loves to relax, sip coffee and entertain friends. The pool area has a Mediterranean feel, making it seem like every day is a vacation in her backyard. Sophia's bedroom is just as luxurious and cozy as the rest of her home. With its elegant four-poster bed and a warm fireplace, her bedroom is a peaceful sanctuary where she can unwind and feel safe. The bathroom is just as stunning with breathtaking views and calming colors that make it feel like a spa. The highlight of Sophia's room is her closet, which is truly a dream come true for any girl. It was designed by Linda Cooper Smith and organized by color, but it's not just a space for her clothes and accessories, it also holds a very special photo of her late brother and cousin. This reminds her of the importance of family and treasured memories. The tour wraps up with Sophia reflecting on how she turned her house into a home. With the help of her designer, she was able to overcome challenges and create a space that truly shows off her personality and style. For Sophia, her dream home is not just a place to live, it's a sanctuary where she finds comfort, joy, and inspiration every day. In 1998, Sophia Vergara took a big step into the business world by co-founding Latin World Entertainment. This company was set up to create and produce content that targets the Latin market. It quickly became a crucial part of sharing Latin culture in mainstream media, producing everything from TV shows and movies to commercials and talent management. Sophia worked hard to connect Latin entertainment with mainstream audiences promoting diversity and inclusion. But Sophia didn't stop there. She found many more business opportunities and showed she had a talent for spotting and developing exciting projects. One of her popular ventures was the Sofia Vergara collection with Camart, which earned millions from 2011 to 2015. In 2013, she teamed up with Rooms to go to create her own furniture line, sold in 150 showrooms across the United States. Her business skills and star power made her a highly sought-after figure for brand endorsements. Big names like Pepsi, Covergirl, Head Shoulders, and Rooms to go lined up to work with her, 
Featuring her in their ads, Sofia Vergara's life has had its ups and downs, with each moment representing personal struggles and professional challenges that she has faced with courage and grace. These experiences have shaped her into the kind and caring person she is today, inspiring her to use her platform to uplift others. Sofia's journey into philanthropy shows her commitment to giving back. One of her biggest contributions is her support for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital where she helps raise awareness and funds for pediatric cancer research. Her involvement with the American Thyroid Association is also significant, driven by her own fight against thyroid cancer. She works hard to promote awareness and research funding, turning her personal struggles into hope for others. In 2000, Sofia founded the Fundacion Sofia Vergara in her native Colombia. This foundation focuses on providing education and healthcare to children who need help, giving them the resources and support to create a better future. Her work in Colombia is very personal to her, as it's a way to give back to the community that shaped her early life. Sofia's philanthropy isn't just about money she often travels to places where her charitable projects are based. Whether visiting children in Colombia or participating in global events like Stand Up to Cancer, she uses her presence to raise awareness for these causes advocating for those who need a voice. Sofia Vergara's charitable work reflects her belief in using her platform for good. She doesn't just want to be successful on screen, she aims to make a real difference in the world. Her journey from overcoming personal challenges to becoming a powerful force for philanthropy is a compelling story of determination, grit, and a little bit of humor. She reminds us that true greatness isn't just about talent or success, it's also about the kindness and compassion we show to others.